Good afternoon, folks. Hey, listen, sorry I'm looking a bit rough at the moment. Uh, I'm not long out of bed. I had, a, had an hour's sleep. Because I, oh, I had a big walk today. I've got these brochures, you see. I've got a thousand brochures. I've got to fold them all, and I've got to hand deliver them into letterboxes. Because I'm trying to raise some money to promote my town of Timaru. But no bag will give me any money, you see. So I've got these brochures. I've spent a fortune on them. <coughs> and I've got to go around all the houses and poke them in letterboxes, right? And sometimes I go down town and I give them to businesses and I put them in uh, little old ladies' uh, trolleys and all sorts of things. But I've got a thousand I've got to get away. Because I've got to get some money in. The money's just not coming in. And I can't work for nothing, you know? I've got little kids out there wanting me to video them on playing rugby, and I'm waiting for the rugby union to reply to me. I've asked them if I can have permission uh, in writing uh, so they can video them, but they haven't replied to me. And then I've, another thing I've got, I've got these cyber bullies on, on, on my case, you see. They keep sending me these stupid emails arguing with me uh, about all sorts of things. Especially this one when I said how to turn New Zealand into a drugs-free country. Oh, that wound them up. Got all the druggies on the line. They're coming into me, you see. And, of course, a lot of them don't even use their name. They just, they're just just bogus. But, oh, they bite. Bite like one thing. And, listen, i got another phone call i got to ring to. That you remember the, um, those two guys that abused me in the, uh, in the gym the other morning? Well, the ladies rung back. And she wants me to ring her. But I really want to sit down and talk to her, you know. Uh, and listen, what I want to do, I've got an idea. I've been trying for years to get the television station to contact me, you see. Uh, and, and get me on the telly, because they've got to get on the telly. If, if I'm, if I'm going to be famous, I have to be on the telly. And I'm a comedian, you know. I'm a, well, I'm only a practicing comedian, but I'm bloody funny. Uh, and so I want to get on the telly. Now, I thought what I would do to try and get on the telly is, is have a debate with a Maori fella. That Maori fella called Honi Hukawera, or whatever his name is, who wants to build those 10,000 houses for the Maoris. I want to get on a debate with him on television. And I want to call the debate the black and white debate. I'm the white man, so I'll represent the white team. And he's a black man, he can represent the, the, the black team, you see. And we'll have a ba debate about this racism that's going on in the country at the moment. Because they're all having a go. All the Maoris and the half-caste Maoris and the Pakyas, they're all, they're all debating it. Uh, but it's not... It's not prop being done properly, and I reckon I can do it better. I would love to get the, uh, a Maori up there, and, and I'll have a go at them. So, uh, if you can do that, if you know anybody in the television that's got a television station, tell them to ring Ron Bishop, will you, at 0368612271. I'm home most days. Uh, that's when I'm not out uh, videoing stuff and that, you know. But uh, give me a call, and let's get on the telly. Let's, let's turn this bloody country upside down and, and get this racism thing out in, the, out in the open because, boy, it makes me annoyed. I get really wild about it. But never mind. Hey, listen, I've got to go. Just a short one today. See you tomorrow morning. Okay? Bye-bye.